Hey, this is Professor Perez from Saddleback College again. Today, we're going to do division with fractions. And of course, we can't get started without our student of the semester. And that's Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? Yeah. We're doing division with fractions. So let's get started right there. All right, Charlie, you see that two up there? Yeah. We're going to take that two and we're going to divide it by one third. That's right. If we want to use the division symbol, we can write this as 2 divided by 1 third. There it is. Now, what we are being asked here is how many 1 thirds go into a 2. And we have a little arithmetic procedure to do this, but we're going to show it first visually on a number line. <laughs> and yeah, I know some people just say, just show me how to do it, Mr. Perez. Yeah. Well, let me show my number lines first. Anyway. Here you go, Charlie. Let's put up a couple number lines there, zero to two. And remember, we want to see how many one thirds does it take to make up a two. So let's go one third, two thirds, three thirds. Now, Charlie, how many one thirds does it take to make up a one? Three of them. Okay, keep that in mind. Well, now with this problem, we want to see how many one thirds go into a two. So let's keep going here. There's four thirds five-thirds, six-thirds. Okay, Charlie, so to answer this question, how many one-thirds goes into a two? Six. Six of them, right? It's right there on the number line. Okay, so let's look at the arithmetic procedure. What we do is we bring our two down and we're going to change division to multiplication. Well, why do we change division to multiplication? And then what do we do next, Charlie? Do the reciprocal? Take the reciprocal. Well, why do we do that? Well, that's what we're going to try and explain here. Well, we changed division to multiplication, and now we have to take the reciprocal of one-third. Now, Charlie, what's the reciprocal of one-third? Three over one. Three over one, which is three. Now, a reciprocal means you're actually taking the fraction, for instance, one-third here, and seeing how many times it goes into one. So the reciprocal of one-third is three because it takes three of those one-thirds to go into a one. And if it takes three one-thirds to go into a one, obviously three times two, which is six, tells us how many one-thirds goes into a two. So that's it. That's why when you change division to multiplication, you take the reciprocal because you're basically seeing how many of those one-thirds go into a one. Now that's a little bit tough for us to understand at this pre-algebra level, but if you think about it, it may come to you later this semester or maybe in beginning algebra, but Anyway, let's go ahead and, and finish this problem. Two times three is six, and that's our answer there. So let's move on now. Okay, Charlie, this time we're going to take seven thirds, Charlie, and we're going to divide it by two. If we write it with a division symbol, it's seven thirds divided by two. Okay, Charlie, what does it mean to divide by two? Cut it in half. To take half of it, right? Okay. Yeah, I know. Just show me how to do it. Well, I'm going to do my number lines one more time. So let me put my number line up there, 0 to 7 thirds. And Charlie said, let's take half of it so that red arrow is showing us where the middle is. Well, to help you out, I'm going to bring another line just below, broken up into sixths, so Charlie can see where the middle is. Charlie, where is it? 7 six. At 7 six. Notice 14 six is the same as 7 thirds, so right in the middle should be that 7 six. Okay, Charlie, so let's go over 7 6, right? And another 7 6 obviously gives us 14 6. So the middle is 7 6, which is our answer. Half of 7 thirds should be 7 6. Well, what do we do, Charlie? Bring down our 7 thirds, change the division to multiplication, and now, how do you write 2 as a fraction? 2 over 1. That's right, and then when you take the reciprocal, what do you get? 1 over 2. 1 half, that's right. So again, the reciprocal of two was one half because how many twos go into a one? It's a half of a two. That's why it's half. Okay. So I know, let's just go ahead and do it. All right. Okay, Charlie, how do we multiply fractions? Straight across the top, straight across the bottom. That's right. And so what's our answer? Seven, Seven over six. six. Very nice there. Okay. So let's move on and just do some problems here now. All right, here we go, Charlie. We should be warmed up. 7 fourths divided by 3 eighths. What do we do, Charlie? Change the division to multiplication, take the reciprocal. 
3. Okay, very nice. Now, do we want to multiply? No, we'd like to reduce first. So remember, we pick a number from the top and the bottom. The 8 and the 4 will re reduce. Some people call this cross-canceling. We want the greatest number that divides evenly into a 4 and an 8, and that would be a 4, right, Charlie? Yeah. So we'll divide both those numbers by 4. Okay, Charlie, what's 8 divided by 4? 2. And 4 divided by 4? 1. And what's our answer? 14 over 3, and no problem there. So let's continue on, Charlie. 11 6 divided by 10 thirds. Don't get scared. Here we go, Charlie. What do we do? Take the division of multiplication and take the reciprocal. Very nice. Now, can we reduce anything? Yes. That's right. We can divide the 3 and the 6 by a 3. And so what's 3 divided by 3, Charlie? 1. And 6 divided by 3? 2. Very nice there, Charlie. And what's our answer? Bring us home. 11 over 20. Very nice there, Charlie. So. This should all be reviewed once we change that division to multiplication, right? Okay, Charlie, let's step it up a bit. Don't get scared. Here we have 11 6 divided by 22 over 3 divided by 10 ninths. Okay, let me walk you through this one, Charlie. Bring down your 11 6 and notice again, we're going to change the division to multiplication and we go to the 22 over 3 and we take the reciprocal, which is 3 over 22. Notice we don't change the next one and we don't change the 11 over 6, right? We change division to multiplication, and the next fraction, we take the reciprocal of it. Now we move to the divided by 10 ninths. We change the division to multiplication, and 10 ninths take the reciprocal, which is 9 tenths. There we go, Charlie. Now, we look for things we can reduce. What can we reduce, Charlie? 11 and 22. 11 over 22. Those are divisible by 11. Anything else? 3 and the 6. Yes, the 3 and the 6, but we prefer to use that 9 on top because it's the larger number. We want to reduce the larger numbers down. So we'll do the 9 and the 6, which is each divisible by 3's, right? Okay, so let's do the work. What's 11 divided by 11? 1. 22 divided by 11? 2. 9 divided by 3? Three. 3. And 6 divided by 3? 2. 2. All right. Now, what's on top, Charlie? 9. And the bottom? 40. 940. Yes. Don't forget to circle or box your answer. Okay, here we go, Charlie. Let's do another one. Don't get scared. 12 fifths divided by 3 divided by 2. Again, Charlie, bring down your 12 fifths. And now we're going to change that division into multiplication. And here we go. We got to take the reciprocal of 3. How do you write 3 as a fraction? 3 over 1. Very nice. And what's the reciprocal of that? 1 over 3. That's right. That's because how many threes go into a one? Well, one third of it. Anyway, now we go to the next one. Take the division, change it to multiplication. And the two, how do you write the reciprocal of two? One over two. One over two. Very nice there, Charlie. Okay, now, is there anything that can re reduce? 12 into three. The 12 into three, those are divisible by threes. So what's 12 divided by three, Charlie? Four. And three divided by three? One. One. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, we can multiply, but we can still reduce. What reduces, Charlie? The four and the two. That's right. They're both divisible by twos. And now, what's four divided by two? Two. And two divided by two? One. Very nice there, Charlie. So notice, we have two fifths times one times one. And so what is two fifths times one times one? Two fifths. Two fifths. That's right. Don't forget to circle or box your answer. And that is it for division with fractions. So we're done for today. So we'll see you all again soon.